Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I'm actually in fasting mode now. I already told you guys that I'm having surgery and the surgery is actually tomorrow. So, um, they said don't eat anything after 10. They said 12, but then they said go back two hours just to make sure that, you know, your stomach and everything is empty. So, I done had my last supper already. And now, I don't know if you guys know, notice, but when you're not allowed to eat or drink anything, like not even water, that's the most time when you'll actually be like thirsty as hell. I don't know if that's just me, but you know, that's usually how it is for me when I have to fast and I literally can't have nothing, then um, I don't know. They told me, um, only thing that I'm allowed to do is wear deodorant tomorrow. No perfume, no lotion, no, no type of perfume products in the vaginal hair, no nothing. So, um, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna be, you know, doing my hair. No makeup, no lipstick, no brows, no lashes. I probably still try to, you know, wear my little lashes because, you know, you can't, they can't tell me that they're not actually mine unless they be inspecting my body or whatever while I'm asleep. You know, they got some creeps, some perverts. Yeah, that burnt. But I'm gonna put this skin protect. I know my cap is wrong, and my cap is never wrong, but that's what happens when you buy the wrong um, caps. These caps actually came with my bulk holds um, stuff, so it's not actually my fault that I just chose to put on this cap because it was like right there on top. And usually, I will put on um, my other ones, even if it's a cap that's too light or something that's like too dark. I mean, like white or tan, you know, anything that's not my color. Because you can also always just put um, makeup and make everything look good or whatever. But I'm going to make sure that the wig that I have, if it's combs in it, I'm going to cut it out. You know, make sure that um, it's no type of metal, whatever. They're talking about you can't have no piercings or whatever. I got my nose pierced. And there's no way in hell I'm fit to snatch my nose ring out. And this is the original one that I got when I got my nose pierced. So it still has like the spiral thing that's under here still. I don't know if you can see it. But I don't want to show you guys all up in my nose or whatever. But I really don't want to um I don't know, I saw somebody else on YouTube do that, but that my skin is good because this bow hold I must talk to y'all about the bow hold this bow hold it do not play as long as you like put it on your skin it's like the wig is like cemented into your scalp like it's no joke and I just got the regular the bow hold extreme this stuff plays no game, I kid you not, no games at all. So if you want a wig, if you want to, if you need a glue that's going to keep your wig like laid down for like two, three, even a, two, three weeks, even a month, get bold hold or active. I should have got active because I sweat a lot, but this stuff right here, 
it's like no jokes, yo. Like I had to make my wig come off. I wore my wig for like a week and when I was ready to take it off, I had to make it come off because it was not ready. Like I'm not coming off. Like what are you talking about? Like you want me to come off? No, I'm not coming off. That's like me and the wig was fighting like literally. Kid you not. But usually you will um I made this wig by the way and I chose to wear this one. I love this wig because the hair is like mad soft. I did hand sew this. So it's hand sewn by me. Made by me. Constructed by me. Yeah, me, me, me. But I made this wig too big on purpose because I wanted to make sure that I had enough room to like work with or whatever and I remember the first or well, the second time I put this wig on I did it wrong I had the wig all the way up here like and I just kept on going like and I didn't even tell y'all that I made a mistake I just kept on all my real true wig wearers, y'all know that I had did that wrong, but y'all was just nice and y'all didn't tell me. Y'all wasn't like, what the hell are you doing? Oh my God, nothing. Y'all just, y'all just stuck it out with me. I appreciate y'all for that. Cause I would've been like, baby girl, what are you doing? I think I'm gonna do a cute half up, half down or something with this. I don't know. You wanna see. Draw curls, I don't know. Something. But I don't wanna put it too far up. I wanna show that big forehead. Usually I see it easy breezy just um, mark out like exactly where she was gonna like place her wig, whether she was doing it on her clients or on herself. And I wanna get my rest and I ain't got time to be doing all of that. So I'm gonna show my beauties a quick way. Real hot. It's real hot in here, so I have to open up the door a little bit. And you really don't need a lot of glue, but... And I'm letting y'all know advance, in advance that I'm gonna need y'all to help me count how many layers I use, because I always forget or lose count, so I'm probably using way too much, but this is my second time using this. And in the first video that I did, I didn't do a talk through because I didn't really know what I was doing. 
so I just basically speed through the whole process or whatever. So you know how YouTubers do it. We want y'all to think that we know what we're doing. But most of the time, we don't be knowing what we're doing. We just be going with the flow. So this is still my pre-surgery vlog. I have not uploaded, I mean, like take them off of private yet, any of my pre-surgery vlogs. So you guys will get these videos um, during the week. I'll probably upload this video first. And in a lot of the videos, I'm talking about the process of what I'm going through and what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to add a little bit more here. And yeah, and now. And then, um, so this is. Today I shot, I, I filmed a lot today, so I think I accomplished a lot today. This is, I believe, video number five. And then it's after 11, so I'm already in fasting mode and I haven't eaten anything since about nine o'clock, I believe. I think I had done it at 9 o'clock. Not quite certain. I think it was 9 o'clock. And then, um, I really wanted to film myself. Applying my wig. I don't know when I'm going to be able to film again, that's why I've been literally filming all day so that I won't just leave you guys hanging. I have a lot of friends that actually know that I'm going to be going um, into surgery, so they're going to be putting me to sleep. So. Know, the whole thing of oh you can't go home alone okay I know I'm not gonna go home alone so stop worrying about that but as the time is winding down my nerves is crazy because you know most females or whatever don't really have to go through what I'm going through. Then there's females that have been through fibroids, actual um, cancer in their vagina, and I do have a, um, a cyst inside my um, ovary, and I don't even know if they're going to take that out. I wish they would because... I don't know, it hurts. And I go through a lot during my menstrual and when my menstrual is coming, when my menstrual is ending, basically 24 hour pain. And it's like, nobody understands what type of pain I'm going through until, unless they actually like live it. So um, to all of those people that say, oh, I feel your pain, no you don't don't you don't feel my pain you don't know what I go through every month or on a daily basis this is serious 
like, I have to have surgery, like, on my uterus, like, who would be calm about a situation like this? Like, are you normal to be calm about this? Like, anytime somebody is, like, being put to sleep for a surgery, to me, that's major. Like, you're being put to sleep. You don't know if you're gonna come out of it or if you're gonna wake back up. Many people, oh, relax, I did that before. And we have different situations, though. And the, the difference between me and you is that you wasn't scared, and I am. Like, um, if sometimes, like, I, I be thinking, like, you know, why me? But, you know, there's always God answering, like, why not you? Like, maybe I chose you to um, go through this so that you can tell your testimony. I'm not fan to preach. I know who I am. I know I told y'all who I am. I know I'm a pastor, but I'm not fan to um, sit here and preach. But just know that fear will bring you closer to God, like no matter what. Can't nobody tell me that what um, their definition of fear is and um, like what they'll do um, when they're um, like afraid of something or something is coming or like Hurricane Sandy, everybody was like, you know, I've been through that and I believe I told that story already. A lot of people was like, oh my God, I'm just fanning my arm to, to get this dry. Oh my God, we're gonna die and we're not gonna make it out of this. And I'm like, Jesus, 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 over and over again. Guess what? I'm still here. And what was that, seven years ago? Next month is like seven years it's been. You made it. So what was the purpose of you sitting there panicking? Okay, just because I said that, like, don't panic, that doesn't mean that, oh shoot. I can't panic now because, um, although who I am doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be scared. Fear not, for God is with you, but I still have fear, I'm still scared. Nobody can not tell me that I'm coming out of this or whatever, God has to tell me that. You're just man, God has to tell me that I'm coming out of this, that I'm gonna be okay. And if he's not telling me that I'm coming out of this and I'm gonna be okay, then I'm gonna be scared. And I have something to fear. I do.
Okay, y'all. Uh, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to bathe and then go and get some sleep. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Love you guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This is my pre-surgery vlog. So stay tuned. Continue on my journey. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.